This is an introduction for the NSO device onboarding artifact. You can pause the video here to read through this description before we continue with the rest of the demo. To receive some background about what the NSO device onboarding artifact does, let's look at components of our artifact. So first component here is the JSON form, and as you can see, it just collects the necessary parameters uh, for onboarding a device into NSO. Um, the second thing we have is our workflow, and the workflow is pretty much just a for each that takes each device and runs through a sequence of calls, those calls being uh, add a device to NSO, fetch the SSH keys, and then perform a sync from on that device. And if all three of those run successfully, then our device gets pushed into an array for all the successful onboarded devices. Um, if any of the devices fails at one of the steps, it will get pushed into an array that resembles which step it failed at. And then all four of those arrays will get uh, shown at the end in the view data task to the user. Um, and for the purpose of this demo, um, I'm actually going to run this call through Postman via a start job HTTP request. Normally, we'd go through Automation Catalog and fill out the JSON form, but just to save time, I'm going to do that. So if we go over to Postman, um, we can see that I have four devices here that I'm going to actually run to onboard. And the purpose of that is because I want to show those four possible outcomes that I said I mentioned before. Um, so looking at it, we have our first device here, which has an incorrect IP address for the device. And what we expect there is with the incorrect IP address, it will fail when fetching the SSH key for this device. Um, the second device has a typo in the auth group. And so this is a non-existing auth group, which will fail NSO's validation when trying to add it to the NSO database. Uh, the third device has all the correct information, so we expect this to onboard successfully. And then the fourth device has an existing auth group, but this auth group is the wrong authorization for the device that we're trying to onboard. So if we go ahead and send this, we can see that we got a success and we will have a active job. And for the sake of this, um, this is gonna run, probably take about two to three minutes. I'm actually gonna fast forward to the end to show you what the view task will look like. Okay, so now we can see we have the view data task. And if we go ahead and work that task, we will see that uh, the output is what I described before. Um, we have a device in each of the four categories. We have the one device that was added successfully and the rest of the three devices failed based on how I described uh, during the postman section of this video. So there we go. Um, you can see our output and basically we would finish this and the onboarding process is complete. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Slack.